There are the Minis, the Toyotas, and then there's Mathieu Serradori. The Frenchman made history, becoming the first amateur since 1988 to win a stage on the Dakar. In his CR7 buggy, he's even become a rival for the big gun. I'm really, really, really happy today. I believe we entered the battle a bit earlier than expected. Without being too serious, we do things seriously. On the first week, we were careful not to try and be too much in contact with the best. We could, but we chose to stay careful and to fight for position. After three Dakars on a bike, he is no longer here just to participate. Since we switched to cars, we're far more structured and we can consider finishing well in the standings. We're a privateer team, a family team. We learnt to adapt to off-road rally conditions. We looked at what the others were doing, what was good and what wasn't. On the Dakar, we have 10 people working for us, plus the two crews. We're 14 with my father as the team manager, 15 people in the team this year. If I destroy the car on the day, obviously that gives them a lot of work during the night, added to the fact they have to drive all day to get to the next stage. The factory teams have huge means compared to our structure. If they attack all day, they know that their car can be entirely rebuilt during the night. Today it's a question of money and a question of taking risks or not. We try to find a good compromise.